Ready, set, go! Hello guys, Gorwalcroft here and welcome back to the Aftershock SMP and today we are showing a little bit of progress I made. I made this path area all complete, although not completely. Complete but not all completely, yeah, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. But I still want to make like a bit of a snowy podzolly field over here with maybe a tree or two. Well, I think one's gonna be enough, but whatever, that's still going to come over here. And now I've been making this path kind of decay into here, and in less and less of the strong gray blocks. And now it's going to kind of merge into this sort of path, but I couldn't really make it because all these sheep, they need to move. So <laughs> what are we going to do today? Well, I think I'm gonna build up a beacon over here, and we're gonna do some digging and get these sheep underground and we're gonna make an AFK sheep farm over there I don't know which kind I uh, there's one little thing that I might want to actually show you real quickly and that is a little bug that's in the game and it has to do with carpet and the duplication of carpet which is really cool and over here I tried to make a farm out of it but that didn't work so whoops uh, let's get uh, me some pumpkin and uh, what you can do it turns out is this uh, as you can see there's one carpet over there but now there's two as you can see there's uh, well there's one carpet that just went into my inventory and there's one on the ground over there so I tried to make this into a farm but for some reason this thing is you know, filled with pumpkins if it would like to trigger it doesn't dispense any pumpkins. Actually, uh, if we were to put pumpkins in here, it doesn't dispense pumpkins, and I don't know why. Maybe, because it does, right, okay, so maybe it's because of this, now it does dispense pumpkins, but it makes a snow golem, and I don't want a snow golem. If you have just one snow block, it, uh, it also doesn't work. So, I don't know how I would get that thing to place down pumpkin I, I just don't know but I need it because if I could make that then I would like this would place a pumpkin and you would place carpet on top and the piston would break it and it would duplicate it and it would be amazing but it doesn't work so I don't know I just don't know give us Goron yeah I know <laughs> all right so, I don't know, I, I think an AFK sheep farm would probably be more efficient than the carpet duplicator anyway. So I'm not too bothered with it, we just need to make an AFK sheep farm and get that to work and we'll be all good. So, because I'm, I'm going to need wool anyway, like I don't only need carpet, I need a lot of wool as well. So over here, I've made the beach and this rock formation over here, um, it's also done. I don't know if I'm going to place trees on top, maybe like one or two, not too many though. Because this is like next to the beach and everything. I don't think you would find trees there. But yeah, that's done. So all that's left to be done is this little section oh this little section over here. We just need to get a bit of farms, the barn, and then we'd be done. Wow. Didn't expect to be saying that so soon. And then of course we still have one, two or four four houses left to build and the area around the mining district and the docks and then we're done and I mean there's some buildings that I want to detail more and there's other detailing I want to do but that is stuff I'll probably be doing in between episodes and I say that a lot and I don't really do that much between episodes although this time I did do a lot more but I don't know I'm busy with tons of stuff and I'm actually like focusing on Minecraft a lot I've been wanting to record Twilight Princess for a while but I really want to finish this before we start season 2 or else I'm gonna have to do things in single player and I won't be playing on season 2 so that I don't want to do that either so I just want to finish this stuff off before the new season starts but I don't want to rush it either I want to do it as if I did not have a time constraint <laughs> so today we're gonna move some sheep I need one piece of iron so I can power this beacon with it and then I need a dig so I'm gonna need a pickaxe with more HP than this one. So let's get this one. Does <laughs> uh, that one? Yeah, that one does have efficiency five. Okay, good. And 
Let me just get my inventory sorted because this is boring. All right, so the sheep are out and they are underground, and you can hear them a little bit, but it's these ones. These ones you can hear, the ones all the way down, you can't. I might want to push these guys further down, but I'm kind of keen on keeping them there, because I might want to put them in the bar, I'm not sure on that yet, but oops. But uh, over here, that is where they are, and the mushroom is also still here. <laughs> I didn't bother sorting them out. So, yeah, I basically went the same kind of thing down here put down a lot of torches so that stuff still grows. I could actually also put torches on top of those so that we have a bit more light maybe. I don't know. I I, I guess I can just go in and put those down. That is fine. But yeah, but this is it. <laughs> There's not much else to say for now. Uh, later this episode we will be making an AFK sheep farm but for now I kind of just want to start working on the area up here. I might actually do the sheep farm just somewhere in between cuts. I'm not sure on the design or anything yet. Um, still gonna look into that. But for now, I feel like we should finish off this little area by making this path at first. Let's start out with that. And around the thing and into the barn. And I've started laying down the foundation of the barn. I just ran out of wood. So I quit that because I need to get more wood. <laughs> it makes sense. But it's, uh, it's starting to look pretty good. I like the positioning of it. And now that this is in place, I can basically finish off the mountain bit. And I think next up I'm just gonna throw a roof on this thing. And then it will be almost done. I mean, it's not that complicated of a build. I can actually remove most of these logs because they will be inside the mountain out of sight anyway. So I can probably use those to finish off the foundation of it over here at least oh. so let's put all y'all down this can also go out because it's out of sight and out of mind there you go, that's most of it at least it's not all of it but it's most of it so now I can finish off the mountain and I'm gonna put on the foundation of the roof using spruce as well it's gonna have a standard spruce wood oak wood uh, roof because I mean that fits with the oak and it fits with the barn theme I feel like I think it's pretty good I could do something with like acacia but I don't know I like I like the red like bonds are usually red right I think I might actually get some stained clay for the barn I think that would look pretty neat I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna look into it Alright, so I've made some progress. As you can see, the thing is in place. I've planted out some trees. The paths are more detailed and there's snow everywhere and flowersy stuff. And I'm just gonna do a bit more of that before we move on. I ran out of hardened clay really quickly. I smelled some more. I don't think I have really ever had to smell hardened clay, but I have no idea where there's a mesa on the server, if there even is one. So I decided I just smelled a second and a half and I am like eight blocks short. So <laughs> that's a bit of a, a bummer. I guess I can probably make some windows or use some granite in here to gain those eight blocks and put them in. But this is the barn for now. I think I'm gonna open up this space anyway. So we'll probably get those eight blocks that way. So I wanna make like a, a bit of a storage for Hey, if you, if you, like the picture I have in mind is this Lego set for a medieval barn, which has like that thing come out further and then there's a hook that would like pick up wheat and store it up there. So that's the idea I have in mind and that I will probably make on the inside upside area and in here there will be a sheep or two free. Uh, I'll grab those from down there. And over here is a bit of a, a fenced off area. That's where a pen will be uh, once we remove this very temporary beacon. And yeah, uh, I fell on the sheep pit. Oh no. Help. Goodbye. So yeah, that's this area for now. And that is starting to look really good. I'm happy with the detailing that is happening over here. It's starting to look real nice. I need to get some snow on top of these trees and some other things as well. But I like it. Uh, when I was looking at this last night, I was uh, working on this for quite some hours uh, late. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too late, but I was looking over here and I was like, 
Damn, this is just like such an empty open area. But these trees and the, and the detailing of the ground and stuff has definitely helped make that less of a problem. So now it's looking real nice. So I'm going to put more detail on this surface. Um, it's going to have an opening and other things as well. And I think this will look really good. But for now I'm going to take a break from this. I need to get this sheep farm up and running. So I have a design by Snow Crash. And that's what I'm going to be building on the ground because I want to AFK the entire weekend. Um, I'm going to leave tomorrow and then, uh, then I'll be gone for about a whole weekend. So that's like, what, 50 hours of AFK time? More than that, that's 60 hours. 60 hours of AFKing if I do that. So that will get us a ton of blue wool and I, I'm going to need that. So. I think that's a good idea to get the snow farm running. I'm just gonna use up most of these materials. Probably not the flowers. I looked at this blue flower. Uh, I only have one of them. This is my only one. And it doesn't look that bad. I actually quite like I think it's a little bit bright maybe, but I don't know. If we have like a couple of them spread around, it probably won't matter. But I only have this one. And I would have no idea where to get more. So, hmm. That's the thing. Anyway, I'm gonna do stuff. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to leave it at this for now. It's looking really good already. Uh, the snow on the tree definitely adds and I like the detailing on the roof. I'm not going to do the open bit. I just didn't like the way. I couldn't make it look good. And this is looking pretty good in my opinion. I quite like those windows. They're on the back as well. Oops. Um, I hear the bat. Well, that makes sense because there's caves everywhere on this island. <laughs> pretty much everything underneath these piles are also registered as caves and there's just like half my on this just cave. It's probably more bats than mushrooms on this mycelium or this mushroom island at this point. I'm actually not sure if there even is any more mycelium left or uh, or any mushrooms left. Like on well, mycelium. But now that I think of it, only at the place where the dog is going to be there is mycelium. But for the rest, I think we've pretty much got rid of all of it, which is pretty freaking neat if you ask me. We just um, pretty much demolish this island and it's raining it's always raining when I'm doing anything it's getting really sick of it. oh well thank you it just listened to me okay cool well um so yeah this is about done I got the sheep in here as well and it's not completely done yet I'm actually and I think of it I wanted to put in some torches in here um it's not completely done yet I want to do some a little bit more detailing on the floor and maybe in this on the attic. Uh, you can see some hay bills behind the windows. I thought that would look pretty neat, like as if there is indeed stuff being sorted there. So I'm gonna keep that in. Um, but for the rest, this building is about done. And I put down some more trees and I did some other stuff. And now it's time we head down here and start constructing this sheep farm. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but we're making a design by Snow Crash, uh, which is a pretty cool guy. He is a good YouTuber and he makes farms and awesome stuff. He's also the maker of the donut sheep farm. Yeah, or sheep farm, what am I saying? The donut gold farm. Yeah, you probably know that because it's a pretty famous gold farm. It's been used by quite a lot of bigger YouTubers on that service. So yeah, I think it's time I just construct this thing and then I'll show it in action. Oops. Okay, so the farm is built. The sheep are not in it yet, but this is the farm. And there's a bit of a, s a slight realization I may have made. <laughs> and that is the amount of wool. Uh, so I calculated this. Uh, I don't exactly know how big the area under my base is where we're gonna put all the wool. But looking at the size of our island on the map. So looking at this, I think the area of our thing... Hmm. Actually, I think I may have really overestimated this. If this is one map, so that's all of that. I think the area we dug out is about this at the moment. <laughs> Maybe not even that. So I guess one map is about the amount we need to cover in wool. And I calculated four maps. I thought we needed four. So that actually really reduces my thing. So let's get a calculator. Super, welcome to uh, 
Welcome to math. Holy crap, that's a big calculator. Um, so, a map is this size, so 128 by 128. So that's the amount of wool we would need for one map which is significantly less than the times four I thought we needed. Uh, the farm produces about a thousand per hour, so if we go back to uh, what we just had. So we need to be AFK for about 16 hours, which is way less than I thought. Uh, anyway, a share, a piece of shears has about 240 uses. You get about two, uh, two wool per sheep, so per share. I suppose because you get either one, two, or three. So uh, this is the amount of uses we would need. Uh, so if we divide that by the amount of uses a share has, we only need about 34 shares, which is significantly less than my earlier calculations of 400 shares, uh, <laughs> because I didn't take into account that you get up to three wool. So the divided by two I didn't do, and I thought we needed four times the amount of thing. So this greatly reduces the amount of wool we're, or shears we're going to need as well, which is great. About one double chest of shears should suffice. I'm going to do two just in case. So I'm going to fill two double chests with shears and uh, I'm going to make a ton of storage for our things. I might actually... I mean I've already crafted these chests and those hoppers. I might actually head over to the snow farm and just steal some chests and hoppers over there because well the snow farm uh, isn't really gonna be used ever again and it has so much storage that it really much I never needed to make that much storage for the snow farm it's it's kind of a dumb thing I did anyway I s did I just say one or two I said two double chests so let's get another double chest in here that was a mistake let's put that there boom and if we just take all of that out now there we go now we have ourselves enough storage for all the shifts we would ever need now I just said I would go AFK the entire weekend but what I did not take into account is that the server gets backed up every night so I've kindly asked Jordan if he wanted to skip a backup which is gonna be Friday night so we're gonna go AFK up from Friday up until Saturday night so it's gonna be enough because I just calculated how much hours did we need to AFK I, like I don't remember I think it was like 19 or something 19 hours AFK we're gonna get over 24 so it is all going to be fine we should get enough wool and if we don't we'll just do another couple of AFKs I can go AFK while I'm going to school and stuff no problem um, so yeah the farm is about done all we need is sheep uh, I'm gonna have to go take a screenshot of these sheep and count them because I don't think I'm gonna have enough I'm gonna get, get, make an estimate so there's 50 entities but I don't think there's 50 sheep and I need about 40 something sheep so let's open the ceiling a bit there we go let's count Okay, now here's a very smart ID, if I do say so myself. What if I grab exactly 20 uh, or 44 die, and I'll die every sheep, then I'll know how many sheep there are, and then I won't even have to count them. This is a very brilliant idea, if I do say so myself, I need lapis lazuli. Here it is. Okay, one. <laughs> That is number one. And, and now we go to the rest of all of the sheep and we'll die all of them. And we'll see if we need to make any babies. So, uh, you're number two. Three, four. I don't have to count. Why am I? Wait. You can't. Okay, you can't re die a sheep. So I can just spam this around and it won't really make a difference. Everyone follow me. <laughs> Come my my feathery friends or my woolly friends. Oh my god, this is actually <laughs> this looks ridiculous. Oh no. What have I started? And now they're pushing themselves in. Nice! This is automated sheep ruse. 
<laughs> get in there, get in there, get in there. This is great. They're just doing it for me. All I have to do is back up in this corner. And there they all go in. Oh, this is incredible. Alright, it works really well. I've been using it for a couple of minutes. And as you can see, we already have quite a lot of wool. And uh, the only thing is, is that I made a boo-boo. <laughs> this is not the way that this is supposed to be done. And now I'm starting, I'm trying to think of what is the way that this is supposed to be done. For some reason, uh, so somehow I need to give it priority to the drop. Like, as soon as that thing dispenses a new piece of shears, it will... Hmm... I think this might fix it, but I'm not 100% certain. Uh, now if this get, gets powered, it won't put in a new thing because it's still locked. So, I don't know, let's just turn it on and see what happens. Uh, it's not working. Well, still only one shear. Yeah, it's working, it's working. Awesome. That is great. So it's giving priority to... I uh, don't know if there's a way to force that, but I'm fine with this. It works. Okay, cool. Uh, now the only question of course remains... It's been on pause now. What if I turn it on again? It works! Okay, cool! No, that's great. I'm happy. So, yeah, the AFK farm is done. It works. So, um, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to go AFK, uh, but today I'm going to end off this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a, a slightly more technical video. We made this ugly ass <laughs> sheep farm. Yeah, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but I don't need it to be. I just need it to function and give me all the wool I need to work on the mirror later on. I'm going to put these shears away. Now that I think of it, I should put these in here. Um, that's not a little fool. I can put in some more. In the next episode, we'll probably be doing the Halloween house. So, looking forward to that. That's going to be awesome. And for now, look how this farm looks with the wheat, by the way. Last episode, it wasn't fully grown yet, but now it is. So, that's all looking good. And this area is starting to come together. Now that the sheep farm is done, I'm probably going to get rid of this beacon, finish this area off, and oh, <laughs> I just thought I heard the sheep farm, but those are these sheep, of course. So, yeah, off camera I'm going to uh, remove all of this, finish it off, and probably also start digging out more of the underground area, because it needs, it still needs some digging done. And I'm going to purdy up this area, and then in the next episode we can work on the Halloween house, and maybe we'll do some other houses as well. Next episode might be the, the housing episode. Who knows? I'm not sure yet. We will see. Just, I'm, oh, we're getting so close to being done and it's just... It's amazing. We need to do a lot of things down there though. There's still a lot of things to be done. I don't know how much further I want to go back on that wall. I think I don't want to go further back on this wall. So... I don't know, maybe a little bit. Maybe... Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, it's, it's difficult. This is a lot, like a little bit, slightly difficult choices to be honest. But yeah. Oh, we're getting so close. It's, whoo, 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 whoo.